You are watching TFI. Greetings! Welcome to a new challenge on the channel called the Infusion Card Challenge. It's genius, isn't it, mate? Inventor Infusion 360, Infusion. It just came to me in a flash of inspiration. Anyway, this is a new card challenge. Long and short of it, mate, is that every month, at the start of the month, I'm going to be releasing a viewable package of a drawing and a 3D model of a design that I've come up with. And then you've got a full month, if you want to, you don't have to, if you want to, to try and remodel it exactly to my parameters. And then at the end of the month, I'll do the modeling again, show you how it was done, and then I'll tell you what the physical properties of my model are. So the mass, the area, and the volume of my model, and if yours matches mine, then you are successful. And this is not going to be an easy challenge either. This is not a training exercise. This is not a learning experience. This is supposed to be an intentionally difficult challenge. So I expect only a select number of people at the end of the month to have actually gotten it right. I'm hoping that anyway, it's for early days, but I'll give those people a special mention in the final video when I'm when I'm doing the modeling. So you know you got it right and you can hold your head up high as an absolute baller. Uh, and then that's it. And then I'll start a new one the next month and carry on from there. So the, the answer, you'll know if you've got it right or wrong, will come at the end of the month. If you want to know before the end of the month whether you've got it right or wrong, then I've got a special perk set up for my Patreon followers. In my Discord server, which is a Patreon perk, uh, details will come in a second, I'll be releasing the property values to my Patreon supporters so they'll know whether they got it right or wrong during the month rather than wait till the end of the month. But the modeling instructions and how to do it will be released at the end of the month to everybody. Right then, so let's get into it, mate. This first video is going to be a bit longer than all the rest of them because I'm going to go through the instructions and the viewable and how you navigate everything. So if you go into the description of this video or the pinned comment, you'll see a link uh, which looks a little something like that. Give that link a click and this is going to take you off into Autodesk's worst piece of software that they currently offer right now. This is the unacceptably, shambolically, diabolically, tragically abysmally, frustratingly sh rubbish cloud viewer that unfortunately is all I've got really to be presenting the model and the drawings to you in a way that doesn't expose the properties. Uh, it's, it's actually quite good. It's, it's a good uh, conveyance method for giving you the data, but everything about this is awful. It's uh, not the time, Neil, not the time. So once you're in here, you'll see Infusion CAD Challenge 001 at the top, and you'll see sign in. You can sign in if you want. You don't have to. You don't need an account to look at everything you need to look at. So uh, this down here is nonsense. We don't need any of this. Click this button here, which is the thumbnail view, and then that will sort of collate everything up into the five most useful thumbnails. So the first page is just a, it's an A3 sheet that I've done in Inventor, and it contains a couple of commonly asked questions that I think would pop up and then the instructions and some guidance and then you, you know, what's going on here Autodesk man what's, that there is supposed to be a preview of that what's happened to the font Autodesk that's your proprietary font Autodesk artifact you use it in all your marketing material why does your own viewer do that to your own font I don't know what to tell you I don't know what to tell you uh, we'll go over that in a second, all the details. The second thumbnail is the final model in a 2D drawing format with a couple of dimensions on that you will need to know. Um, so that's, uh, that's that. The third thumbnail is a 3D viewable of the final model that you need to get to. And that's it there. And if you think, and that doesn't look too difficult, oh, well, give it a shot, mate. Give it a bash. Uh, and so if you're finding that orbiting around this view is a little bit sluggish and a bit slow, it is a browser-based viewer, so that's going to be the case on some PCs. Go to the settings button at the top, go to appearance, and just turn off anti-aliasing and ambient shadows, and then it should be pretty snappy. Once you're in here, you should be able to take measurements from point to point by clicking measure here, and then picking up snap points, like little squares on the end points of edges and whatnot, and midpoints. Today, it just doesn't want to work. It's not finding any snap points. Occasionally, if you might find this yourself, if you wave your cursor around, a snap point might appear from the wire. It's like painting. Or like, hey, you see, they just appeared down there. <laughs> it's like it's like a scratch card, mate. 
it's like keep scratching and occasionally you might find a measuring point to click from. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. I want to appear somewhere. There's one hiding here. It's like whack-a-mole for snap points. Come on. There's one there. He, he popped up and then he's gone again. I don't know what I tell you. <laughs> so, whoever's responsible for this viewer, you've done a shit job, I'm afraid. A really bad job. This is unacceptably bad, given how long this has been out in the wild for. I mean, it's the... F no, not the time. Not the time. Keep it on point. So you should be able to take measurements, but it's not letting me. Whether it let you, I don't know. You can take measurements in the 2D drawing, but the 3D model, it's hit or miss. You can do sections. Just click the buttons, mate. Just have a fiddle around with it. You'll uh, you'll figure it out. It's not too tricky to actually uh, navigate around. Unless it hangs on you, mate. Unless it freezes, which it will do on a regular basis, because the last thumbnail is the flat model in a cable. Not occasionally. More often than not, as you're jumping between the two 3D thumbnails, the whole thing will freeze and just sit on a loading screen like this and it's broken it might free up and show you the 3d model then again it might just sit here and not do anything which is looking exactly like the case do you see my point autodesk i am not being unreasonably angry and frustrated towards the people behind this if it does this to you just refresh it click refresh go back into the thumbnail view and then go back to that and then it should it should work there you are so there's the flat model that it just apparently gave up on 10 seconds ago never mind never mind right that, that's it there you still can't take measurements here it's, if you do the scratch card you might find a, a measure point in here somewhere same again you know there, there's one down there that they're hiding in there somewhere there's one there oh <sighs> uh, yeah anyway anyway right so that's the flat model and then the fourth thumbnail is the detailed drawing containing most of the dimensions that you will need. So I've remodeled this several times at this point using the drawings that I'm giving you and all the dimensions that you need are here. So this is the flat version of it with the correct spacings and dimensions. And then when it's curved, then obviously everything's not that dimension. So I was a bit, I'm not a draftsman, mate. So I wasn't sure how to actually annotate up the final model given that the entire thing is curved. So I thought I'd, I'd just un bend it all and then you can see this so there you go that's uh, that's the five thumbnails that you need and then the first page is the rules and instructions so i'll just go over this so yeah you need to know you need, well, you need to get the, the mass the area and the volume right exactly to my specifications if you want to know what they are before the end of the month then they would be much appreciated if you sign up to page john and get into the discord server and the information will be in there if not fine you can wait till the end of the month where I'll release the details to everyone publicly on YouTube. Uh, you'll, how do I find out what the individual properties are? I've done it right. Uh, I've done that. Uh, but I don't want to wait that long. I've done that. Uh, how do I check the physical property? So here's instructions for how to actually check what your physical properties are. So Inventor, you've got to go to the... If you, honestly, if you... If so it's like, if you don't know how to get to the eye properties of Inventor or Fusion 360, then the challenge is probably going to be beyond you because it does use advanced modeling techniques. Uh, another tip, everything that you need to do in this video to get this model done, I have a video on it. But you don't know which video that is, do you? So click through them all and click the ads. Uh, who wins? Uh, the right, So it's not a prize-based competition. This is just a challenge. And, and everybody who gets it correct will just get a mention at the end of the month. So there's no prize. I'm not. It's nothing like that. It's not the first one to do it. You know, the person with the most time in the world to waste is the guy who wins. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like that. So more than one person could get this. So it's not really a prize-based thing. Um, how do I join? How do you submit your attempt? Uh, so there's some instructions on how to actually start it, which is, again, straightforward. There's the email address to send uh, your model in once you've done. So when you when you have finished it, all you've got to do is start flash up an email, attach your model, your IPT for inventor's case, or if it's Fusion 360, convert your model to a step file, attach that to an email, and then just put in the email title uh, Invusion CAD Challenge 01 or 02 or 03, whatever number we're on to now. And then in the body, t tell me what the mass is, the area and the volume, uh, to the exact units as it says and shows in your model. Uh, and preferably, please, in fact, no, I'm just, yeah, make sure you're in metric, you know, like kilograms and millimeters, because I, I can't, I'm not going to model the thing twice in inches and then every possible unit combination to make sure that I've got the one that you've got. No, you've got to do the one I've got. So this works. Uh, I'm not going to be confirming whether you've got it right or wrong before the end of the month. 
you'll know whether you have or not if you go to the Patreon Discord server. So yeah, if you email in and you've got it wrong, I'm not going to be replying to like potentially hundreds of people saying, nope, you haven't got it right and checking everyone's files. So you can check yourself uh, in the Discord server. Uh, don't create the 2D drawings. It's 3D modeling only. And yeah, and if, if, if you think that I am missing anything on the drawings, I'm pretty confident I haven't on this, but I'm not a draftsman, so I might have detailed it up terribly. Just let me know and I can revise this and I'll put a new link in the description of the video so a new viewable session will appear. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it. So yeah, the, the challenge is intentionally quite difficult. It might be too difficult for new starters. Uh, so yeah, don't lose your mind and uh, get angry if you can't do it. It's intentionally really difficult. Uh, but keep it simple. Uh, because I did. When I do the modeling for most of these, you'll probably go, How? what? <laughs> it's that kind of thing. All right then, mate. I'm going to knock that one on the head there. That's all I've got. So good luck. Have a stab at it. Send me your files too once you think you've got it done. If you've got any questions and need assistance, then the Discord server's growing slowly. We've got, I think, roughly about 50 people in there now, and they're all banging into all this sort of stuff, and you can ask questions in there, and I'll go in there on a semi-regular basis. When I've, got, when I've got free time outside of my day job, I'll go in there and answer questions and stuff. Uh, and other than that, good luck. Infusion Card Challenge number one. Begin! <laughs>